straight to sleep because I can never go straight to sleep no matter how tired I am because my head just goes round and round and round and round because I'm down and severely depressed and I'm being targeted by the police who refuse to help me even with evidence of serious crime because they think it's acceptable to bully a vulnerable adult and actually make them feel suicidal which they're doing fully aware that they're doing it and continue to doing it oh, I've got to change my knife now I've dropped that one and also, some of the neighbours are just having such an effect on me that I just can't sleep. So when I do sleep, I have these nightmares about them. And some of these nightmares don't even really make sense. So anyway, finally laid down. I think I laid down long before I actually fell asleep. And um, just couldn't get to sleep. Eventually fell asleep and woke up. I don't even know what time it was. I can't remember. I know I was awake for an hour and a half. Because I kept thinking I need to go back to sleep, I need to go back to sleep, I can't get back to sleep, like my head just won't stop. Fell back to sleep, then something woke me up. I don't even know what. I, obviously, there was some kind of noise outside, but I don't know what it was. And then I looked at the time, and it was about. Because I'd changed what time I was getting up as well when I was awake for an hour and a half or whatever it was. It might have even been longer than that. I slightly changed what time I was, my alarm was going to go off because my alarm was quite early not as early as yesterday although I did do a video about yesterday but I'm going to delete that because I was so tired and dehydrated that I just talked rubbish like real rubbish and it didn't make any sense anyway um, yeah, I changed it for about 30-40 minutes later and then I woke up about 50 minutes before it was due to go off and I was like, oh God, I need to try and go back to sleep. I'm tired, I need more sleep. I'm, well, I'm beyond tired. I'm absolutely exhausted. And I think I'm getting a migraine as well, but that was just to do with what's going on and the effect that had on me. Because I do get migraines because of crime and harassment against me and the police are affecting me massively, which they're aware of. So they're just as bad, maybe they should arrest themselves, but we all know they won't do that because the police can commit crimes and it gets covered up constantly. So I'm really tired, basically. Um, and I could do with really good sleep. And last night I had the opportunity to. But obviously, I'm affected so much that I can't get to sleep, but it would be nice to go to sleep. I'm wondering what I'm doing, I'm making my dad a cheese sandwich. And this cheese is just crumbly. I don't know if it's meant to be crumbly because it's not a crumbly cheese, but anyway, that's what I'm doing. Um, I really like stressed out and upset about something because the things that the people are doing to me on the street have had an effect on my health. Like, all along, they've had an effect on my health as well as my mental health. But there's something quite drastic happened health-wise. Because of what's going on. And the thing that's happened, I'm not going to get into in this video because it's pretty raw, the way I feel right now. Because I've had to have something done because of the effect of it all having on me and what's happened to my body and it's something that's really like if you know me it's taken a part of me away and that might not make sense to anyone else but some of you will get it um, and it's absolutely devastating the effects it's had on me so yeah and I'm not in a very happy 
happy place about and it's actually making me feel very, very depressed, very like, I don't know if I can carry on anymore because it's like the final straw. Because I can't cope with like the effect it's having on me and my life and now, yeah, it's had physical effects all along, but the most recent physical effect has affected me mentally, it has affected me how I feel about myself, it's affected who I am massively. I'm just slicing this mask up, which I'm going to wrap separately so he can even put it on his sandwich, or he can eat it separately. And I don't put it on the sandwich because it will make the sandwich soggy tomato's wet. If you've never had a tomato, which I'm presuming most people have experienced a tomato in their life. So that's what I'm doing. See how nice I am? Most people want to be happy with that and the black cat. Don't forget to like, subscribe and I hope you all have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching.